What's going on, boxing fans? This is Kenneth Despy of Boxing. Let's speak boxing. Big boxing fights happening this weekend. Um, Home Depot Center in Carson, California. Nonito Donaris taking on Jeffrey Metabula. Um, a unification belt. This is going to be a very, very good fight. Um, Nonito is one of the best pound for pound boxers out there at this moment. Um, he's looking to unify his Super Bantam title um, before he moves up in weight to bigger and larger opponents. But before doing so, um, uh, he needs to take on a much larger opponent uh, that's much taller than him now. Now Donaire certainly has the talent, and he's he's excellent footwork. He's fast. Um, he has power and great reflexes on both hands, and has awesome speed. The dude's fast. Um, they compare him to be a you know he's a Filipino sensation such as Manny Pacquiao. They call him to be Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's completely on a different level. Um, but as far as they're considering to be a small mini back, yeah, because he's explosive. You know, he's explosive in the ring. Um, now, in this fight against Matabula, Donaris is facing a much larger opponent uh, at a five inch um, height advantage that uh, Matabula has. The height difference could cause um, a lot of problems, and it could be a p potential problem for Donair. Um, Matabula is known for his jab. And he definitely can control the distance in the fight as long as he keeps that jab up. Um, he could he could have definitely an advantage in the fight. Um, so Nonito Donaire is definitely going to have to come into the body and slow him down, slow him down for late rounds. Now, um, I, I think he should take this fight. Um, Nonito Donaire is definitely the expert to predict that, you know, just my opinion as well. Um, he should have this fight. Hands down, you know. Um, um, Metabula is 5'10", he's 33 years old, um, Donaire is actually, you know, 5'5", five, five, um, 29 years old, 28-1, and, and, you know, he has a loss, but I think speed kills, and, and his footwork and head movement, he has wonderful mechanics, this guy's, uh, truly one of the best boxers that I, I've seen in a while, um, do I think he's a little overrated? Yeah, I think he's a little overrated, but... You know, he, he's definitely a good fighter, especially in these upcoming last fights that he has. Um, I'm really excited to see him pull off this victory. It's not going to be a walk in the park. You know, it's um, it's it's going to be it's going to be a good for, you know it's going to be a good uh, uh, showcase for him. It's going to be a good challenge for him to before he moves up in weight. Uh, and there's there's a lot of you know, it, once he gets past. Um, this fight, you know, this opponent, it, it could be a, a stepping stone to showcase his ability and, and moving him forward before he, he moves up in weight. Um, what do I think is going to happen? Now, do I think he's going to have a KO? Uh, possibly, but my fight prediction is I think Donaire is going to win um, by decision. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm very excited. I know there's um, there's other weights out there, Gary Russell Jr., um, Euclid Gamboa. Um, these are these are big fighters that want to fight uh, Nuno Donaire, and in order to do so, he needs to get past this fight. So, guys, let me know what you think. What's your fight prediction? Um, do you think Nuno is going to pull out the the victory? He's going to win with KO. Subscribe, friend request, guys. This is Kenneth Despian Boxing. Have a good one.